Hello Anthony, back with another YouTube video, I don't care about the title, I'm here to show you how to reset or clear your system cache, should I say, on your Xbox One. Now, the reason why you might want to do this is because you have a problem with the game, you want to refresh your, your memory on your console, um, you might want to get rid of a bug, so like I said, every time you contact Xbox, every time you contact Xbox, if they say there's something wrong with the game download or an update, oh, the first thing they'll probably tell you to do is to reset your system cache. Now, first step you need to do is you need to press and hold the power button on the front of the console until it powers down completely. So basically, um, just keep hold of it. Uh, the, 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 X, the X symbol on the right hand side of your console, just keep hold of it until the console fully turns off. Step 2 is Unplug the power cable, so draw the big massive, um the brick, draw the, draw the brick of the console, just take that out, um so that the power brick is not connected to the console, so take the brick out, take everything out, yeah, take everything out the back of the console. Step 3, press the power button on the console three or four times, this will ensure that any remaining power in the battery is drained, clearing the cache on the console. Now, basically, just press it three or four times, keep hold of it five seconds each time, it, it, even press it seven or eight times just to be sure, just press it, um, and that should uh, get um, clear the cache on the console. Then obviously what you do is you put the power back on the console, so, so the power cable, the power brick, everything else that goes on the back of the console. <coughs> Step five, you need to wait for the light on the power brick to change from white to orange. So obviously when you go, you know, when you plug it in, the first goes white in it. So you have to then wait till it turns to orange. So when it's white, just wait till it turns to orange. Then of course number six, turn the console on using the power button. Simple as that. Um, now I'm not gonna lie, I think this has changed a little bit actually because I remember on the Xbox 360, I think it was, or even on the Xbox One two year ago, you could actually do it on the console, like you know, like on the settings, you could clear, you could clear your system cache on the settings. But this must be a new way of doing it, by the looks of it, because I've never done this way before. Um, because I did some research in that. This is the new way of doing it. I've reset your system cache on Xbox. So yeah, pretty simple, straightforward. Now, like I said, if you have any problems, please leave a comment below, and I will be happy to help. If that's what I'm here for. Uh, that means all out. So yeah, this is the way of doing it. So I'll go through it again. Press and hold the power button on the front of the console until it powers off completely. So just hold it. Uh, number two, unplug the power cable from the back of the console so that the power brick is not connected to the console. So take everything out the console at the back. Um, press the power button on the console three or four times. This will ensure that any remaining power in the battery is drained, cleaning the cache on the console. Plug the power back into the console. So I've plugged everything back into the console, should I say. Wait for the light on the power brick to change from white to orange. Then turn on the console using the power button. And that should work. If you have any problems whatsoever, if it doesn't work, please let me know. And I will obviously try and help you out. That's what I'm here for, do you know what I mean? I'm, I need to set it all out. Uh, so why? If you like the video, please like the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.